Hey guys, it's Caitlin and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be best and worst of Elf or hits and misses. Not sure which one I'm going to title this video, but I'm very excited for today. Um, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. I'm definitely trying to grow my channel by posting a video every single day this month. Also, be sure to leave me a comment down below letting me know what is your favorite, all-time favorite Elf product and all-time like least favorite elf product if you've ever had one. So make sure to let me know. But I'm gonna be going over quite a few products, so I hope you guys will stay tuned for the full video. Um, so let's just jump on in. I apologize because I look like I am so pale right now. I don't know why my like lights are like washing me out even more than I already am. So hopefully that doesn't bother you guys. But the first product that I wanna mention is a hit. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Originally I didn't like this. It has a weird, almost minty smell and I was not a fan of that. I've kind of just learned to like not even notice it anymore. But I do feel like it does smooth out my pores. I feel like it does smooth out everything and kind of make it a little bit more easy to put foundation over, easier to blend. Um, and I do feel like it helps the longevity of my makeup a little bit. Not a super lot, but I do think it helps. Another hit would be their brushes. More specifically, their more expensive brushes. I don't necessarily like their dollar brushes because I'm pretty sure those are made out of animal hair. I could be wrong on that, and I don't really support that. But um, they're synthetic, a little bit more expensive, $3, $6 brushes. I have here the angled blush brush, and then I have the ultimate blending brush. This blending brush is it's like 6 bucks, um, and it's so good. It is such a great brush. It's super, like, just the quality is amazing. First off, it looks really nice. But would highly recommend these just to try them out. So let's go on to a miss. This is the e.l.f. HG Mattifying Balm. And I kind of want to give it another shot. Um, it's basically a balm that's just supposed to mattify, obviously. It feels almost like a primer. It kind of has that, like, kind of silicone consistency. For me, this just made my foundation kind of move around. It didn't really sit well on my skin. And, yeah, I don't know. It made me look greasy, even though I'm dry skin. A hit for eyeshadow from e.l.f. I really like this palette. This is the Naked palette. I do like this. I pull this out every once in a while. I think the shadow quality is really great. This is normally $10. I got it for mine for $5, though, because e.l.f. does 50% off sales all the time. Um, so that's really great. And I just wanted to kind of throw this in here. This is the e.l.f. Baked um, Eyeshadow and Toasted. It's really pretty. It's so gorgeous. You can use it wet or dry. And I think this is such a beautiful color. And I can't remember how much it was, but I don't think it was very expensive. E.l.f. is usually never expensive, so I thought I would throw that in there. A e.l.f. Miss is their Lengthening and Defining Mascara. I bought this for the sole pur purpose because I wanted to do an e.l.f. All Makeup One Brand tutorial kind of thing, which I can link below because I use a lot of these products that I'm talking about in that video. And I really hated this one. It's a dollar, so what do you expect? But it just was horrible. There's like product that comes out, like there's product in there, but I'm telling you guys when I was putting this on my lashes, it was literally like I was putting absolutely nothing onto my lashes at all. So that is a big thumbs down from me. A hit from e.l.f. is their makeup wipes and their lotion wipes. I tend to usually take my makeup off with a cleanser because these can get a little too harsh on my skin because I do have somewhat sensitive skin. But I think if you use it every once in a while, it won't do any damage. So overall, I really like these. Another hit is their e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleaner. This isn't a deep clean brush, but I highly recommend you guys trying this out because it's like, say you did an eye look and you don't want to fully wash all your brushes. I'll just take a brush that has like a black eyeshadow or any eyeshadow really, and I'll just spray it and like move it around on like a um, makeup remover wipe or like a paper towel and it will get rid of that pigment. It just won't deep clean it. So I really recommend this stuff. It's so good. One more hit before we move on to another miss. This is the makeup remover pen. And this is really great. Some people don't like it because sometimes it's basically a pen, like if you screw up on your wing liner, you can kind of touch that up really, really easily. Um, it does soak some of that product into the product. So what I would recommend is right after you touch up whatever makeup you want to touch up, wipe it off in your hand, wipe it off in a paper towel or something like that, that get that excess pigment off of it so you, when you use it again, it doesn't end up on your skin. So that's just my tip for that. Um, but this is really great. I don't, I've never seen anything really like this other than from e.l.f. I could be wrong, but I think it's really handy when you have like really tiny mistakes that you don't want to go in with a big makeup remover wipe. So this is really great. This is a miss. This is a cream liner in punk purple. And I like their black one. I don't know if it's just the colored ones. Um, the black one is better. I don't know if I like it per se, but it's definitely better than the purple one. 
I'm going to show you guys. Like, it looks kind of pigmented, but it's really not. It's super splotchy and extremely sheer. Like, you would have to do so many layers to build this up in a wing liner. Like, I don't even want to attempt doing that. You guys, as I was filming this video, I just had to get up because I heard someone drop off a package. Elf sent me this because their customer service wasn't going very well the last time they did a 50% off sale and everyone's order was delayed. So, they just sent me this for free. Like, how sweet is that? So, that's why this is one of the reasons why I love Elf because their customer service is always fantastic. So, I just wanted to point that out. Like, how cool is that? I'm like in the middle of filming an Elf video and Elf package shows up. I'm trying to remember where we left off, but I'm going to start off talking about another hit. Kind of two in one. This is the Elf High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. This is the Elf High Definition Powder. Um, this is kind of just obviously for the eye area. This is for everyone on the face. Um, so, definitely keep this in your eye area because it could have been stressed, but I started to apply it in some other areas because I was lazy to get this one out. And I noticed that I was starting to break out right here where I was putting it, but I was under a lot of stress during that time, so it could have been stress. But um, I like both of these. I think they're really great. So, definitely check those out. Another e.l.f. amazing, amazing product that I love are the mineral blushes. These are fantastic. I think these are so pigmented. The packaging, first off, I absolutely love the packaging. I think the packaging is such high quality. It's very sleek and compact and very sturdy. And then the colors are pigmented. They're blendable. They are fantastic. So these are absolutely one of my favorite e.l.f. products of all time. A blush miss from e.l.f. is their studio blushes. They're so chalky, um, dry, zero pigmentation, especially because it's so dry. Like I, I'm telling you guys, look at how hard I'm rubbing nothing comes up. It's so dry. I know this is an older blush, um, but it was dry ever since I got it. I know I hit pan on it, but I was very determined to use it up because I like using products up. Now there's literally nothing that comes off. So this is definitely going in the trash. I kept it for this video, um, but do not buy the studio blushes. I think they're very dry. Buy the mineral blushes for two extra dollars. Those are so much better than these all around in pigmentation and blendability and packaging and everything. The mineral ones are so much better. Two lip products that I love from e.l.f. This is a lipstick in Natural Nymph. I don't know if it's from their mineral line or something like that. It's just a really basic nude. I don't wear this on its own because it just doesn't really work for my skin tone. But what I love to do is any kind of lip color that I want to make my lips look a little bit fuller, have a little bit more dimension, I will add just a pop of nude right on the middle. It'll just add like a little bit more extra like plumpness and it looks really nice. And then the other lip product is a lip exfoliator. This is a brand new one and I absolutely love Love. this thing is great it just has it tastes really really great too it tastes like vanilla it's probably like brown sugar in here or something like that and it's just really fabulous for just exfoliating those lips so another miss from elf I don't remember what this is called because it has completely rubbed off this is just their really chunky felt tip liner I like how black it is it's very very black however the felt tip itself is not very good in my opinion it was super um, you couldn't really control what you were doing. It bended almost immediately. It wasn't like a nice firm kind of point. It was just like really not that great. And so I used quite a bit of it up, but I wouldn't repurchase this at all and I wouldn't recommend it either. The next three products I absolutely love from e.l.f. I'm going to talk about these smudge pots first. These are so amazing. These are just fantastic. I do have dry eyelids, so if you have greasier eyelids, they might not sit as well with you. But for me, they're fantastic. They don't budge. They don't crease. They stay all day. Just They stay just as pigmented as you put them on by the end of the day. And um, I wish e.l.f. would come out with even more shades because I think they're just that amazing. I think the packaging is really great, compact, really sleek, really cute. Just really big thumbs up from me. I think these are just incredible. I've said that like five times but I can't get enough of these. Another hit is their eyebrow pencils. Unfortunately there's only like three shades so the range is really limited. However if you have a shade that will match you definitely try it out. It comes with a spoolie on it. It's only like two bucks and it comes with you know the product obviously. The product isn't very precise so it's a little bit hard to do that like um tail but you know if you have bald patches, if you have a little bit thicker eyebrows this is really really fantastic for you um, and I definitely recommend trying out. It's a nice neutral brown. Like I don't think it's too warm. I don't think it's too cool. It's a really really great and universal shade. So I saved the worst disappointment for last. This is the moisturizing foundation stick from e.l.f. First off the color doesn't really match me. That's not e.l.f.'s fault though. You know obviously they don't know my skin tone but I definitely don't think this is pale, for pale people because it's too orange. Um, I like the concept of the idea, 
but the actual foundation is just it, it says moisturizing but in reality it makes my skin extremely crackly extremely just separated it moves around it's just not a good foundation it makes it extremely cake face I have a video on this I think um, and I just really do not like this foundation. I don't really have any foundations that I like from e.l.f. I'm still willing to obviously try them out. But yeah, they're just not my favorite foundations. At the moment, this is probably my favorite e.l.f. product ever because they're only a dollar. I have a full review on these. These are absolutely amazing, you guys. These are the e.l.f. facial lips. The only one that doesn't really work for my skin tone is the golden peach one. It's still beautiful though, and I'm sure I can find a way to make it work. My spotlight's my favorite because I am so pale. They basically act as highlighters um, or really glowy blushes. I don't have it on today. I wish I did. I do have that video where I put it on with the full brand makeup e.l.f. tutorial, so definitely check that out. This is such a beautiful highlighter and I cannot believe it is only a dollar it, it makes the most beautiful glow to my skin absolutely love it I love these for blushes when I want to look extra dewy so these you have to try them out for a dollar you have to give them a shot I'm telling you guys give them a shot um, so that was my full video I really hope you guys enjoy it elf is probably my favorite brand ever um, I do I kind of go back and forth between elf and NYX because I love both those brands so so much yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this make sure to let me know what is your favorite um, elf product you ever tried and your least favorite elf product you ever tried so we can kind of talk about that in the comment section below I hope you guys have a great day I want you to know that beauty isn't everything and I'll see you guys in my next video bye